from an ordinary map, it seems as if you must travel this way to get by the straightest route to the Pacific. Any schoolboy could tell you that, but he'd be wrong. A straight line on the old map is not a straight line on the Earth's surface. The direct route is really something like this. In case you think one or other of us is crazy, let's explain. The ordinary school map was invented before the flying boat was ever thought of. In those days, world travel was by sea. No ships could move except on the ocean. And when they came to a bit of land, they had to go round it. But now we're reaching a time when passengers will go by air, the old idea won't hold water. During the war, civil aircraft such as this flew the equivalent of twice round the world every day of the year, and they're still on vital transport work. If the pilots had followed the old map, they'd have lost thousands of precious hours. So they've had to evolve new routes for the new world, so that when they come to the end of a journey, they'll know that no single unnecessary mile has been added to their course. And in the coming years of air travel for all, those lessons will be applied to making sure that we get as quickly as possible to our destination. Let's have a look now at the new Air Age map and see how different it is from the ones we poured over in geography lessons. On this map, a straight line really is the shortest distance, even if some of the countries do look rather peculiar. The reason is that in the ocean of the air, there are no obstacles. A plane can fly even straighter than the crow flies in any direction, and of course, upwards and downwards. So if your quickest route lies over the North Pole, you go that way, without having to worry about ice-bound seas. And what with heated cabins and every home comfort, and stewards, and especially stewardesses, to look after you, you don't find the journey's been cold at all. So if there are any air-minded schoolboys in the audience, when the schoolmaster brings out that old atlas, you'll be able to say, don't give me that old-fashioned stuff, things have changed a bit.